I want to talk a little bit just quickly about this storm from a different standpoint, which okay. is some of the things we do as weather people that are behind the scenes we don't have time to talk about. And I want to show you this, this computer model map. This was Wednesday morning, so before the storm started, right before the storm started. Yeah, this like is candy, the projected you. amount of snow according to the uh, European computer model. If you can't have trouble reading, that's a 24.5 in Portland, 31 just southwest down towards Sanford, 34 in Freiburg, just ridiculous amounts everywhere, right? And of course, our forecast was four to eight along the coast, which ended up being correct. And then uh, we had eight to 12, all that. So, so right. what we have to do, what is a big part of our job, is knowing when computer models aren't making any sense. And mm. this was a situation where it was telling us as a forecaster, hey, you know, between 8 a.m. in the morning on Thursday and 4 p.m. on Thursday, you're gonna pick up 10 inches of snow along the coast when it's 34 degrees. It's just not gonna happen. Yeah, it, no. it, and sometimes in January, you can pull that kind of stuff up, but it's not gonna happen. So I thought it was interesting. My buddy had asked me, hey, how come I'm seeing such different uh, snowfall forecast yeah. for this storm? And I said, because this is the template we're starting with, and we're having to interpret and apply our own experience to that. Doesn't mean it always works, but when it does, we're gonna, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's well. It's to take down 24 inches and whittle down to seven and be that be the right range. It's a big difference. It's so impressive. we're not just machines out there. Well, Gutner's a machine, but that's a whole different conversation. <laughs> hey, <laughs> the more you know. Yeah. Thank you, Keith. Uh,